Thanks, Tony. Um, so, good morning, everyone. Today, we are so fortunate to be able to come together to celebrate our rich and diverse community and to stand com com together, committed to working for peace in our world. I've often heard people talk about world peace as if it's some sort of utopia where nothing bad ever happens in the world and no negative thought ever crosses our mind. But I think that's missing the point. Peace isn't about erasing everything that disrupts us and makes life difficult. It's about learning how to navigate and resolve those disruptions with grace. It's about balancing the good and the bad. It's about focusing on how we respond through actions and words rather than trying to control the world around us. You see, we can't expect the world to change to suit our needs before we help change ourselves. This is something we all have to learn over time. I used to think peace was something external, something that would come when the circumstances were just right. But peace doesn't work that way. It is a mix of external forces and personal choices. It's not waiting for the world to fall in line. It's about changing the way we interact with others and the world, especially when it doesn't align with our expectations. Peace requires a certain level of trust. Trust in ourselves, trust in others, and trust in the process of life. It is easy to think that things could go wrong, and it's human nature to want to protect ourselves. But if we spend too much time focusing on the negatives, we never give peace a chance to take root. Faith is important, that despite the unpredictability of life, we can find our way to balance. I believe peace is a constant struggle. It is something that will always come and go, and it certainly will never come easily. A big part of my journey of finding ways of inner peace and spreading peace came through my involvement in Scouts and working with Pure Land Learning College. Before that, I often felt isolated in my community, and I didn't know how to or have the ambition to change that. I felt like I was missing a connection, not only with others, but with myself. Scouts enabled me to connect with a community of like-minded people who were passionate about, passionate about finding ways to spread joy, enjoy life, and celebrate us and support our local and global community. I found a support system of people from all walks of life who shared similar goals, and especially with Scouts in line with the UN Sustainable Goals. This sense of connection was essential for me. It reminded me of the importance of human connection and how important kindness and hard work is in peace. Through Scouts, I also found activities that, that, helped me, that helped my mind and body feel more balanced. Hiking, for example, has become a ritual of relaxation for me. Nature has this way of calming the mind and reconnecting us to something larger than ourselves. I've also had the opportunity to participate in other activities such as canoeing, archery, abseiling, cycling and much more. All of, these act all of these outside activities are not just exercise. It became a way for me to find clarity and calm and peace within myself, no matter, else, no matter what else was going on. Also, it's just fun having the opportunity to spend time with other people and appreciate how beautiful our world is. I found that when we spend time with each other and have fun, it's a simple way of spreading peace around the world. Scouts has also made me realise that we all have a role and purpose in the community. It gave me the chance to connect with so many different people from so many different walks of life, each with their own stories and struggles. These connections, these learning opportunities, all became part of my personal journey towards inner peace. I began to realise that peace wasn't something I could find just by sitting alone and waiting. It was something that grew through action, through connecting with others and putting myself out there. I think that we often separate ourselves from the problems of the world, believing that bringing about peace is the responsibility of someone else. This may be politicians, world leaders, or even just by someone that isn't ourselves. Whilst we are reliant on some of these factors to bring more immediate change, we can't let it blind us of our potential. Peace is a collective effort that begins with individuals. If we foster peace within ourselves and use our life to help our community, we can inspire people around us to do the same. And in that way, it spreads peace, one person at a time. The change we want to see in the world begins with us. When we find balance within ourselves and connect with our community, we open easier pathways for ourselves to con contribute to the balance and peace of our world. So let's not underestimate the power of each of us today.
Well done, Karina. I mean, it takes a, uh, a fairly brave person to get up and speak and.